you're all doing well. Um, I think Butters is going to help me do the video today. Um, oh, maybe not. Um, but I hope you guys are all doing well and having a good start of the week. It is a Monday today. Hopefully I get it posted same day, but we'll see. Um, so I just have a very exciting video for you guys and um, just hope you guys enjoy it. Um, so it's going to be a little bit low key, nothing too exciting. Um, it's um, kind of blustery out. It's been raining, but then it's also been kind of sunny and nice. So it's a little bit um, back and forth going on. Um, so um, I didn't really go out or really do much today. Um, I had a couple job interviews, which are, which was exciting. Um, just for some, um, part-time work on my days off. Um, just so I stay busy and whatnot. Um, but, to, to do without further ado, um, I have this stunner right here. Uh, yes, this is correct. This is the Duny Burt Florentine Satchel. Um, this is in um, the um, the black, um, and I didn't get this from their website. I did um, scour high and low different places, and I finally found one, and I got it for thirty dollars. Um, it does come with the crossbody strap, but it is in a little bit rougher shape than the, this bag is. Um, so it, I'm currently in the process of repairing it. So um, you won't see that during this video, but for the most part, I'll probably actually just be holding it as a, a top handle bag anyways. Um, but I'm very happy um, with this thrift find, if you will. Um, I wanted to get one um, used or second hand before I jumped the gun and bought a new one, um, just to see if I would like it and that kind of stuff. I mean, I kind of figured I would, but I just, for me personally, I love to see the bag and hold the bag in person first before I jump the gun and purchase something, um, just so I have like, kind of like an idea of it, um, I don't know, I feel like pictures sometimes can be a little bit deceptive or just not always kind of what I want. I mean, that's why I feel like YouTube videos are so great and stuff is because you get more of a, a better sense of your purchase or the um, product you're interested in. Um, but for me, I just wanted, um, before I spent you know, X amount of dollars on one, um, I wanted to try to find one pre-loved on the market first. Um, for a, a, a cheaper price um, So yeah, um, well, th I just want to say right now. I absolutely love this bag. Um, I really want to get another one um, Definitely in the one of the tan um, Colorations probably in the same Florentine leather as well. Um, I really really do love it. It is so so nice um, I'm absolutely obsessed and kind of mad at myself in a way for not getting one sooner, um, if that makes any sense. Um, but I can show you this this lovely lady right here. There, She isn't perfect by any means. I mean, she was like $30, $35, so keep that in mind. Um, I did go over once with a little cleaning round and some um, moisturization. Um, still not perfect. Um, still needs a couple more cleaning sessions. Um, if you have any tips or tricks on cleaning all the hardware, definitely let me know um, in the comments below, um, just because that is something that I just um, need to do more research on, and um, yeah. Um, so without further ado, it is has stuff in it right now because I did um, go out today. Um, I felt very much so like um, a Pacific um, Northwest um, suburban mom going out um, with my ginormous bag and just like my flannel. I got my Eddie Bauer flannel, of course, and then just like this little sweatshirt and um, some boots on. 
um, because it has been a little a little blustery today, a little bit rainy, but then randomly nice at times. So that's um, that's Washington for you, though. <laughs> um, okay, enough rambling. Um, so show you the outside of her first. Let her focus. Okay, so here she is. But okay. So I going to the sides. I absolutely love these little tassels right here. They are in pretty good shape. The the green um, on the other side is definitely not as vibrant as it once was, um, which is okay. Um, but the actual general um, well-being of them are still pretty good. There's no like heavy cracks or anything in it, which I really do appreciate. Um, and then going along this side. Same with the other, the, the green coloration is just not as vibrant as it once was, um, just because it is um, pre-loved for sure. Um, and then this right here, and then the handles. I love the whip stitch on the handles. I think that is such a fun, nice touch. I think it is so well done. The handles in general, I just feel like, are so sturdy in this bag, and with all the, the metal hardware all across it, and the stitching is beautiful. The leather choice is amazing. I am just, like, I'm loving it. And I love how, especially over time when you wear it, um, how this part right here, the zipper top part, will end up folding down, and you get, like, a nice fold over versus it being, um, straight up across as you guys know and then even on um, this little handle piece you have like a little nice um, little detail right here on the, the zipper pole which I just think is really fun and just kind of makes the bag with all these little neat intric intricacies um, and then the back it has you know your little strap um, going down and then on the bottom um, we have four feet, which I don't think really do much because this is so, like, very slouchy, which I absolutely love. I am such a big fan of, like, massive, just very slouchy bags. It's probably part of the reason why I love my Rogue 39 so much. It is a massive bag, and it's just very slouchy in a way. Also, why I love my Mulberry Bayswater. Also very big, has a little bit of slouch to it as well. Um, just overall, I think that's just like my aesthetic, if, if you will. Like it either has to be a literal box, like my box bags, or like this big massive bag that's just very slouchy and cushy. <laughs> um, so if that's like a bag type, please let me know. Um, because that's like what I'm obsessed with as of late and that's my aesthetic. So if that slouchy bag is an aesthetic or like a box for a bag is an aesthetic, let me know because that's like me to a T. Um, <laughs> but um, she is just absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love her. Um, and I am really upset with myself for not getting one sooner. Um, I believe this is in, definitely in the, oh, I can't remember the dimensions on it, but I think this is like the larger size of one, if not the largest um, size of the Florentine satchel. Um, I can open her up for you. So the zipper is really nice. Um, she is a little crusty on the inside, to be, um, to be honest. Um, I have not cleaned out the inside. Um, and I've been like rewatching all my videos and I say to be honest so many times it's a little cringe um, so I will work on that I'm so sorry you guys um, I just you know it's one of those things where you don't realize like how much you say one saying or one thing all the time until you <laughs> watch yourself kind of like when you do um, presentations you're always supposed to rewatch your stuff and like Every time I do a video, I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so cringe. Like, I don't know what you can do, but you need to stop saying that 
all the time because I'm getting annoyed. I'm sure other people are going to get annoyed with it too. Um, so I'm working on it and I apologize. Um, I do realize that. <laughs> um, so I just have like just my typical stuff in here um, and then my camera stuff and then um, if you guys want to see like a sunglass haul, I only have like a couple of them, but um, I feel like they're kind of fun and interesting. Um, so I have these suckers right here. They're very 90s heavy, which I, I, I love and um, have just been the vibe as of late. Um, but these are the only product, knock on wood, fingers crossed, of um, Dior that I own or will ever own. Um, not to say that their products are bad, I just haven't had the greatest experiences with them, um, with the company, uh, but I didn't buy these directly from them. I got them from, I think, like Nordstrom or something. Um, but these are, um, I don't know if you can... Well, anyways. <laughs> Regardless, um, I just think they're like 90s realness and I, I really do love them. Love them a lot. Um, so they just live in this little case. Um, I think it was Nordstrom Wrap because they don't actually give you the case to the um, actual sunglass brand. Which is a little sad, but it's whatever. I don't really, I'm not like enough of a sunglass connoisseur to really care a whole lot about that. Um, but yeah. Um, then we have the, the inside right here, um, is, is so floppy, so it's really hard to show you guys, so I, I apologize, but it has the suede green lining up there, and then, like, a bright red interior right here, and this thing is, like, Mary Poppins bag. This thing is so massive and so large. I absolutely love it. Um, so you have, um, a pocket, um, right here. Um, that's a zipper pocket, then you have your patch that says Dooney and Burke. Um, then on the other side, you have like your smaller pockets for like your phone. And then there's like a little um, holder, and then you have your little, um, almost like a key clip thing right here. But then, yeah, like I said before, the interior, and this one's a little bit, a little bit dingy. Got some pen marks, which... I don't know what it is with people and pens and marking your whole entire inside of your bag and outside of your bag with them, but I just like, oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's like me and hand sanitizer, but if you, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like any bag I get, um, like secondhand, it always has those pen marks on the inside. And I'm just like, every time I'm just like, oh. Well, y'all, what are you all doing? Put that pen in a pouch. That's all I can say. <laughs> um, but I, I'm just obsessed with this bag. It is so, 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 so pretty. All the stitching and everything on it looks so amazing. The leather feels so good. I am, I'm just blown away um, by this, by Dunia Burke and just this piece right here. It is just a, such a classy piece and I just I just love how slouchy it is and just it's just so solid feeling too when you hold it and whatnot like I don't know this bag has done something to me um but yeah I absolutely love it and I can't say enough about it so I highly highly recommend um the Florentine satchel um even just a used one, I will say that. Um, I can't even imagine what a not used one would be. I bet it would be even better. <laughs> um, but it's definitely something on my wish list or want list to get um, a new one probably from, you know, their website. I do know that they do sales. Um, I know they have a sale going right now, I think, for like 30% off or something. Um, so I know that they do do sales on these ones. Um, somewhat often, um, like quarterly or seasonally. Um, so I will have to pick one up one of these times um, when they are on sale um, for a good price. Um, but I just had to jump on and share this with, with you guys. Um, it is such 
a beautiful bag and I can't wait to wear it out more often. Um, yeah, just... And this is like one of my first ones, I think really with the Florentine leather, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I'm just very impressed with the, the leather quality of it and just the, the craftsmanship and everything of this bag. Um, and for the price too, it's such a good price, even buying it um, new, even a little bit on sale, like for the um, craftsmanship and the actual leather of it. Like this is a really thick and sturdy leather, you guys. Um, I'm sure, you know, most of you guys do know that by now, um, but I am very blown away and very um, excited to get more do New York, like leather pieces. Like I said before, I do have the the, the zip zip um, with the Mariner stuff on it, which is canvas with like um, leather trimmings, um, which I'm very excited to actually use that once it's um, baseball season starting up. Um, but um, as far as this one goes, I know I'm gonna wear this one all the time. Um, it's quickly became um, one of my um, new favorites. Um, so if you guys have any other um, Dooney and Burke um, bag recommendations that I should check out, um, let me know. But I will definitely be getting um, another um, Florentine satchel. That is um, no question about that whatsoever. Um, it's such a beautiful bag and I am very, very happy that I um, scored one with it. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, I think if there's anything else. Um, I don't know if there really is anything else um, other than, you know, I hope you guys are having a good week. Um, I do have another video um, planned, um, which I am a little excited for. Um, it'll be um, a um, a luxury, luxury, um, bag video. Um, so, um, if you are interested in that versus a contemporary bag, definitely check that out. Um, it will definitely be a very high-end luxury bag, um, which I am, I'm excited for. Um, so stay tuned, um, for that coming down, um, the pipeline very soon. Um, but yeah, um, Without further ado, I hope you guys are doing well and are having a great week, and I can't um, wait to see y'all in the next one. Okay, ciao.